Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about the new MacBook Pro and its specs. So right now, let's talk about the biggest feature in this new MacBook Pro, which is the Retina Display. Okay, so you're not going to believe this, guys. So the new MacBook Pro has 5.1 million pixels in it, has a resolution of 2880 by 1800, which is bigger than the resolution on the 27 inch iMac, which is uh, 2560 by 1440. It has more color and contrast, and they reduce the glare on the display. So the picture you're seeing right now is a 60 inch HETV compared to the new MacBook Pro with Retina display. As you can see, the 60 inch uh, HETV has a resolution of um, 1920 by 1080 and the MacBook Pro like beats it like double or triple I don't know it's just the difference is huge like it's unbelievable how to do this I have no no idea now the new MacBook Pro includes 512 gigabytes of flash storage and it's configurable up to 768 gigabytes and if you don't know what flash storage is, it's really good to have on laptops and laptops and basically computers. And it makes your computer like faster, two times faster or three times. And um, it's really good and I'm really happy that Apple included this in their new MacBook Pro. So they've also made the battery bigger, so now you have seven hours of wireless web, which is um, really good because you're also running a retina display. So battery is also powering that and you still have seven hours of uh, wireless web. Processor time. So they've included an Intel Core i7 processor with 2.7 gigahertz and with Turbo Boost up to okay, get ready, up to 3.7 gigahertz. Oh my God, people! Apple, that's a laptop. Holy crap! 3.7 gigahertz on a laptop. Holy crap! Okay, wait, wait. The memory is 8 gigabytes and configurable up to 16 gigabytes so size and weight really matter so the new MacBook Air is lighter and thinner so it's uh, 0 0.71 inch thin which is uh, about 1.8 centimeters uh, it weights 4.46 pounds which is about 2 kilograms and uh, this picture I'm showing you right now is the MacBook Pro the early 2011 model compared to the new one and the next one is um, the MacBook Pro with the retina display compared to the MacBook Air as you can see it's about as um, thin as the MacBook Air at its thickest point so um, it's really thin so right now let's talk about all the ports in the new MacBook Pro so because it's this thin it doesn't have an optical drive but um, let's talk about the other ports it has an SD card slot, has a HDMI, which is the first time Apple ever included HDMI into their computer um, series. They have a USB port, which is 2.0 and 3.0. They made it so it's in the same port, so it's not two different ports. They've made MagSafe 2, which is uh, the new MagSafe power adapter, because the new MacBook Pro is thin and they needed a, a thinner MagSafe power adapter. So this is the picture that it's comparing the MagSafe 2, which is on the left side, and the MagSafe, the normal MagSafe, is on the right side. And this is how it looks like. So it has um, Thunderbolt, two Thunderbolt ports. Again, another USB 2.0 slash 3.0 port, and a headphone 3.5 millimeter jack. So one really, really nice feature on this new MacBook Pro is um, if you can see those kind of um, holes, and it's not kind of holes, but uh, kind of cuts in, into the MacBook Pro on its side, those three cuts, I'll circle them right now, there you go. Um, they have three of those on each side, three of those cuts on each side, and what they do is they suck air, and uh, it makes your MacBook quieter, and if you edit videos, a lot of videos like me, and work with Photoshop and stuff like that, things like uh, th programs that take a lot of RAM and make your computer hot and you know the fans turn on and get really loud. Those things help a lot because 
they suck hair and they make your machine quieter and um, it's not gonna get hot as the other MacBooks do. Yeah. Now let's talk about the downsides of this MacBook Pro. As you can see, here's a logic board. Battery, the batteries here, the flash, RAM, processor, and CPU. Right, here's the battery, as I told you, the battery is really big, so it can power up the retina display and get you four hours of wireless web. So that's why it's that big. There's nothing there's no downside with the battery. I'm just showing you guys how big it is. Now the downside comes here, the flash memory. As you can see the flash memory is built into the logic board, so if you buy for example uh, 512 gigabytes of flash memory you can't upgrade it because it's already in so you have to buy new MacBook Pro for another flash which is gonna be stupid right the other downside is the RAM as you can see here the RAM is also built in the logic board and that sucks because if you buy a gigabyte MacBook Pro with uh, I mean yeah a gigabyte uh, with uh, uh, I can't even speak right now a gigabyte of RAM MacBook Pro um, you can't, you can't upgrade it to 16 gb you need to buy a new map Pro, so uh, that sucks. So thanks for watching this video guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button down below, and if you like our videos, you can subscribe above for more, and uh, that's basically it for this video, thanks for watching, and see you next time, bye bye.